Hi, in this session we're going to cover how to deal with a payment incorrectly deposited into uh, your business bank account. So what has happened in this scenario is money is deposited into the bank account and it was a mistake and the money is simply transferred out of the bank account. What needs to happen is we need a suspense account. So what we need to do is when the money is deposited into the bank account, we record it against a suspense account. And then when the money is transferred out of the bank account, we record the payment coming out of the suspense account. A suspense account is an account in the books of an organisation which Items are entered temporarily before the allocation to the correct or final account. So that's a definition from Wikipedia. And a really simple analogy is you pour money, you pour the money into a bucket and then you pour the money out of the bucket. And it's not going to affect our any of our records, any of our profit and loss or our balance sheet, which is exactly what we want to do. The process that we're going to follow is Initially, we're going to set up a suspense account as a liability account if we don't already have it. And then we'll allocate the transactions to the suspense account. So the first step, as I said, is set up the suspense account as a liability account. Here I am in zero. I've clicked on settings on the dashboard and then I've clicked on chart of accounts. And then I've come here and I've clicked on liabilities. Under my liabilities heading, um, I'm going to scroll down the page and you'll see I have the suspense account here. Uh, where is it there? Suspense account 850. And I'll open it up so you can see how it's set up. Current liability, a code of your choice, the word suspense account. Here in Australia, it's BAS, BAS excluded. It shouldn't have any tax applied to it no matter where you are. Okay, so tax exclusive for whatever country you're watching this in and then click um, save. The next part, the next part, uh, step two is allocate the transaction to the suspense account. Here I am looking at the actual bank account. Um, I went accounts, bank accounts to find this, or I found it from my dashboard. And I'm here reconciling my bank accounts. That's my purpose to come here. So you can see um, this. these headings are very easy. Uh, yours aren't going to be that simple. But what's happened here is the incorrect payment was received. The incorrect payment was received, $1,000. And then the incorrect payment was transferred out of the account, $1,000. What I'm simply going to do is I'm going to allocate it to cash. And I'm going to allocate it to the suspense account here and then cash and suspense account. Now, notice again, no tax on it. It shouldn't probably be allocated to any categories. I don't really at this stage for myself need to allocate a description. Um, but if you do want to uh, put in a description there, um, I'm going to copy this copy, paste, incorrect payment transferred out of the account, incorrect payment transferred out of the account. And I'm simply going to uh, click OK to reconcile or play our game of um, reconciliation snap there. And there you have it. The uh, two amounts have been receipted, coded and allocated out of the account. So in this session, I explained how to deal with a payment incorrectly deposited uh, into a business bank account and resolve that problem by using a suspense account. My name is Heather Smith. Thank you for watching.